Cameron Vale, a lone, directionless outsider, learns that he is one of the few people in the world who is considered a scanner, a person with strong telepathic powers which, without the reliance of a drug called Femoral, can become an overwhelming sense of madness caused by overhearing the internal voices of every person passing him by, potentially unleashing a source of power that can be used for malevolent means. Under the direction of Consex Dr. Roof, a man adamant that scanners can be used for the company's benefit to infiltrate the dangers of a scanner underground and defeat their leader Daryl Revok before he dismantles society, Cameron Vale undertakes the inescapable task, gradually learning that not everything he is told is all it seems. This is David Cronenberg's cult classic science fiction body horror Scanners, a film which firmly cemented David Cronenberg's status as a master of sci-fi, thriller and horror cinema, presenting a very grounded form of science fiction in approaching the supernatural act of telepathy, at times punctuated with iconic spectacles of gore. One example in particular is likely many viewers' first introduction to Scanners. The explosion of a head is often used as a popular gif. Scanners also proposes a philosophical philosophical discussion on bodily autonomy, and whether we ever truly control our own selves, or if free will is truly an illusion. Can free will ever truly exist in a world full of scanners? Scanners was rushed through production with an unfinished script and incomplete sets to claim on the Canadian government's funding of the film, making the production experience one of David Cronenberg's most challenging. While Scanners does demonstrate clear flaws likely a factor of funding difficulties, the performances are often stilted and artificial, although arguably to the film's own benefit due to the central focus on isolation, manipulation and alienation, and characterization suffers in favour of layers of convoluted narrative twists. The film remains a significant entry within Cronenberg's early filmography due to its firm focus on cold science fiction, conspiratorial suspense that indicates an entire world of turmoil distant from the wider public interests, and Cronenberg's undeniable bodily shocks which, while not hugely frequent within Scanners, these gory spectacles serve to punctuate the film at the exact right moments to heighten the film's sense of confrontational allure. This is a world of corporations lacking transparency with their true intent, a world of betrayed resistance fighters, and a world of terrible self-discovery which catapults its characters beyond a point of no return. Despite the film's budgetary flaws, Scanners remains as fascinating as ever. One of Scanners' most captivating elements is that the film poses a rhetorical question regarding bodily autonomy. Can you truly be in control of your own physical self? Do you truly have free will in a world where one's mind can be scanned and read like a book? With the effortlessness in which scanners can manipulate non-scanners, and the ease in which both Cameron Vale and antagonist Daryl Revok can destroy other scanners with a stronger source of power, Cronenberg's film presents a conundrum in which bodily autonomy and free will is called into question when others can so easily override it. This is also true of the scanners themselves. Can the scanners even have true bodily autonomy when they become slaves to consex experimentation, like their animals tested against their will, reinforced by the fact that Cameron is encouraged, with little option otherwise, to ally with consex in their planned infiltration of Revok's underground movement? Or even when the scanners become human shields for a resistance movement that has little consideration for their own well-being? The perspective is bleak, with Cronenberg's film addressing that these characters have no true autonomy or free will at all, therefore making Scanners a sobering reflection on why it is necessary to protect bodily autonomy for all, because the option otherwise is oppressive. In conclusion, David Cronenberg's Scanners, despite budgetary and narrative flaws which impact the film's characterization, is a film which presents a thoughtful reflection on the necessity of bodily autonomy for all, while also firmly reinforcing David Cronenberg's reputation as a master of body horror and science fiction cinema. While an often pulpy thriller with some questionable performances, Scanners offers sharp commentary, damning the oppressive forces intent on removing human rights over our own bodies. Special thank you to my incredible tier Patreon supporter Gil and to my super tier Patreon supporters Constantin Bombelli and Jamie.